Hi guys, this is Sanya welcoming you to my channel. So today's video is about 3D snake ladder board game. So I love crafting board games and if you guys do like such content, please tap on that red subscribe button right down below and also on that bell icon. By doing so, you won't miss any other video of mine. Go do it, do it right now. And if you have any video suggestion as to what I should do next, please comment down below and give your valuable feedbacks. Thank you and with this, let's get started. So starting with the size of a board game, it's going to be 20 cm by 20 cm and 2.5 cm is going to be the cubes. Now we are going to use this glue. So the marking you see at the background is just for your reference, you don't have to do it. And now applying the glue, here is a little smiley. <laughs> but spreading it evenly with the help of scales so that it sticks properly on the mat. So at the background is a homemade grid line sheet. So with the help of the sheet, I'm going to draw lines on this mat. So on this sheet, I'm going to draw a rough diagram as to how the layout of my snake and ladder is going to be placed. So make it very uneven the way I have done it. <laughs> As the name of the video suggests, the game board is 3D. So for 3D element, I'm going to use air dry clay for our snakes, ladders, pegs and dice. So for the snake, I'm going to roll the clay as shown. help of balling tool I'm gonna make eyes and nostrils with the pin tool. For the skin texture I'm gonna use the embossed needle. For the ladder, roll out the clay, keeping it uneven. It shouldn't be perfect in length or even in shape. So once you are done, just to make it a little realistic, I'm going to use pin tool to make wavy, slopey, squiggle lines on the clay. After 15 to 20 minutes, it has dried completely and now you can remove it off from the vapor. This is how it has come out to be, it looks super nice and solid. 
Now applying white paint as the base coat, this makes the painting very easy and you don't have to use 3 to 5 paint coatings. So here I'm gonna paint the ladder with brown acrylic paints just as shown. So after painting all the five ladders moving on to the snakes. So for snake I chose nice bright colors not wanting to leave the fun element out. Now that all the snakes are painted, I am starting with painting snake skin pattern on the top. So the snakes turned out to be perfect. I love how real, terrifying and fun they look all at the same time. Also the ladder looks real nice and realistic. Now bringing back the mat, I am gonna place these as per the layout I decided on earlier. So once the placement is done, I'm going to use this glue to fix them on the mat. So for the numbers, I'm going to use this Algo Science figures. So sticking these numbers on the mat with the help of this tweezer makes it super easier. So with this our 3D snake and ladder board is ready and now moving on to making pecs and dice. These two I decided to make with the help of air dry clay. So I decided on using the shape of an egg for our pegs here and Q shape for the dice. So for the dice, I'm going to use the ball tool for making pip. These are small dots on the face of a die. So here, I'm embossing these pips from number 1 to 6.
Once it has dried, I am again going to paint white as the base for them. Look at my hand, I'm gonna wash them right off. <laughs> so now painting these pig, I mean egg, <laughs> with the with this pretty yellow color. After painting all the pegs with the bright colors, I'm gonna make polka dots with pollen too and paint the dice white and black. Pegs and dies are ready. They are looking super cute and fun. Aren't they good? This our 3D snake and ladder board game is ready. So if you found this video fun and useful and if you have reached so far, please subscribe. It helps and boosts me to post more and frequently. Drop down a like and a comment as to how you found the video. A big thank you to all who have been supportive and loving throughout the journey. See you in the next video. Bye bye.